back to another Left These Two broadcast. Today we have week 35 ready to go. And we also have another exciting this or that. Next, here's the brackets for this week in a gold level five matchup. Left These Two is trying to make it a three week in a row first place outing. They're going to have their hands full against MAGA 2024. The Yankees, Wolfpack, and the Jays. Next, we have Left These Two Two. Talking about a handful, they have the Snowcats and Poetry, who have recently been accused of being the newest sandbagging sandbaggers of Sandbagville. We've gotten rid of one of them, but again, David in this club, their group member David, was playing a game with a Murdoch 16 and 91 level 10. Okay, no problem. Maybe he's just not good. But again, and you have your whole lineup as level 1s, you know, for common, level three is for rare, and you're out there trying to play and try to win. You are being a disgrace to this game, and you are eventually sandbagging. Anyways, we got 777 trying to make the leap into that 4,000 club, the Brewers and Rebels unit. Next, we have the Pirates in a goal level four going against, excuse me, goal level five going against the Houston Astros, moderated names, Phillies, and the Smoking Aces. Next, also continuing, goal level five, the big drummers, Padres, team from another team from Taiwan, another team from Taiwan, and, you guessed it, another team from Taiwan. All right, goal level five again, all-stars, Demise, Thin Blue Line, and the Sluggers from a team from Taiwan. And, I just want to call out haters that are all about that hater raid. So, we got a club name here, Jesus Saves, or Jesus Saves. Either way, if it's Jesus, it's probably better because that's typically a person, you know, of Mexico, a good popular name. But again, this club here, we got this club is a bunch of haters. Don't be haters. Get called out, Jesus. And you'll be tagged in this video so you can look at your club being a hater raid. All right, 33209, Bobby. And next, we have the Mandalorians against, oh my God, Thrashers, the righties in Team Japan. Going into the silver level four matchup, a club called Quest on the Rise. Going against the club Texas. Smooth operators in Oklahoma and Justice League. I think the real battle here is Oklahoma versus Texas. Got some college football. North versus South on the line. All right, gold level one, the little dumpers. Yeelan, Razorbacks, and going yard. I wonder what is going to happen here. Going yard. Next, we got a silver level four. Keep swinging. America first. The Angels, number one. And a team from Japan. Finally, we go into a gold level four. Rockets, 883. Always, always on the rise versus the long ball boys. Freedom Kingdom and Ghost Strohs. They just won their division yesterday. Very well. Baseball Bros, Canada Slammers, Aloha Hawaii, which could be goodbye, Hawaii. I guess it could also mean hello, Hawaii. Either way, Korea. Finally, we got the goal level three matchup. Spambino, Smoking Bunts, Panthers, Taiwan, and the Razorbacks. That is it. Again, look at the silver level four. Got to have a chance. Keep swinging. Keep on climbing the charts. Let's go to our... Da -da 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 -da. This or that... First of all, again, Kai is coming out here in about two days. Or, yeah, about two days. I will not be buying her. I don't typically have to buy the players. Don't really care about them too much. And she's an infielder. Not really my cup of tea. I will get her. If I get her early, uh, I will make a video when I get her. But I'm not going to make a video specifically on Kaya. Fun fact, the word Kaya in Indonesian means rich. So, not spending my money on Miss Rich here. Next, let's go to this or that. <clears throat> also, again, again, Robinson, he is boosted. So check out the video of my thoughts on Robinson. Spoiler, it's pretty good. All right, but we're going to lead off batters. Lead off batters. Specifically, lead off batters that play third base. A lot of people can be a leadoff. Honestly, every person in the lineup in the game can be a leadoff batter. 
But who do I like and why do I like them at third base? So not a catcher's first, second base, shortstop, any outfielders. This is specifically a third baseman who I would put in third base. I'm going to start off with Harden. Let's take a little pick at Harden here. All right, so again, the barehanded throwing fastballer. Contact 206, power 165, speed 206, throwing and fielding. Again, I don't understand how his throwing is 159. Ball, bare hand throwing. He gets that, he gets it out quick, which typically means to me is that he's not very accurate. So his accuracy, his speed, when has that little bare hand throw, which does help quite a bit, especially turning those double plays or even getting those bunters out. Uh, and his fielding is not so strong. So let's go ahead and put him in that third base spot. All right. And if you know me by now, you know who I'm typically going to go to. But I usually go for Jack, right? Guys, it's not really a competition, right? So this is not for you. But we're going with our guy. Keep it in the epics, Fox. So Fox... Contact 184, power 159, speed 219, throwing and fielding. Much better here. So as you look at it, the comparison side by side, you guys both lead off batters. A lot of people put Fox at the two hole because they're in that basic bitch lineup. But again, look at it, right? So contact. Harden has more contact. And power. Harden has more power. Speed. 219 to 206, throwing more, fielding more. All right, so the idea here is, wait, make sure we go to the skill. Again, steals have a high chance of success, excluding home plates. Don't steal home, not going to work. All right, so what are you trying to do here? Are we trying to get some defense? Are we trying to get some hitting, some power? Or are you just going on the base paths? Now, again, this is my channel. So it's my opinion. You all have yours, and I want to hear them. But let me give you this idea. I, again, if you look at my typical lineup, if you played against me, I do have a little bit of speed in my lineup. If we can kind of switch over to it real quick. Get out. There. And, again, this is my typical lineup, right? And we have my typical speed. So pretty average speed overall, uh, 209 being the fastest. But, again... Not talking about my lineup. We're talking about two guys. Two men. And I like to have contact. I want power, but we don't have power here. So I want the ability to get on base and be able to make something happen, which could lean mean towards Fox. But I also like the idea of getting double plays, making a quick throw at home. But I don't like errors. I don't steal bases that much. This is a tough one. But it's not so tough. I, again, I lean towards Harden. So Harden over Fox, as we look at him once again. Harden over Fox is my guy, mainly because I like to be able to hit the ball. I think my pitching is strong enough where... I get opportunities. I make a lot of pop flies and, and get some strikeouts. So I don't typically have that many opportunities for errors. But double plays, I do. I want to get the double play out. Harden's going to help out with that quite a bit. All right. So there you have it. Harden over Fox. Week 35 in the books. If you like the page, please subscribe. If you don't like the page, please subscribe. It helps out. See you guys next time. I love these two broadcasts.